Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo November 8, 2022. The ability to help with information can be much appreciated today. You find much to learn about and share. Later today, however, passive-aggressive behavior can be prominent, particularly in your social circle. There could be minor malfunctions or changes of plans and schedules that threaten to throw you off your game. You might feel like someone is overstepping their bounds, and this can cause you to feel quite self-protective. There are better days to come for getting closer to someone, so it's best to be patient and wait things out. Keep in mind that tension is helpful only to the point that it motivates you to take care of problems, after which it doesn't do you service. Shifts are written in the stars. Our great benefic, Jupiter, will moonwalk through your solar third house of short distance travel. On one hand, if you and a lover have been hoping for some magical and enjoyable trips, you may now be given a chance to revisit these plans and see what's out there. Consider revisiting locations from your past, you will certainly feel very nostalgic. Even if there are some delays or hiccups along the beaten path, you'll find the two of you are being led toward vast newfound adventures, even if it's a slower ride. Bring life back to your workspaces and work and life balance. Since the moon is entering cardinal Aries today, you might feel initially stressed as your sign now opposes the moon. However, the vivacious lunation can breathe vitality into your work and life balance once again. You might feel filled with fresh, youthful stamina to accomplish everything that you set out to do in your home life or with your career path. Part of this could encourage you to instinctually design a better work environment that allows you to move swiftly and efficiently. Two days on from the moon's departure from your income sector and from its first encounter with Saturn since his direct turn here, it is still important to trust your gut without overthinking things. With your subconscious able to download information faster than you can process it at the time, the most important insight is still making its way to the surface. The favorable position of the planets today gives you an intuitive sense of where to point your arrow, but how far will your arrow go if your feet aren't planted on the ground nor your back straight and strong? Give yourself the benefit of a regular yoga practice to ground your energy and build your strength so that you may use these transits, sources of positive energy in and of itself, to meet your health goals. Today is a perfect time to do some brain work. Yours is generally an expressive nature, and chances are you love to engage in conversation. Yet, when this vibration occurs, time is better spent doing paperwork and calculations. Reports, budgets, proposals, checkbook balancing are all the types of activities that suit this day best. You will find yourself more rational and practical. Make the most of this by avoiding the chit-chat and wrapping up some of these sorts of chores. The moon's return to your home and family sector comes with perfect timing, putting it here for the majority of the weekend. While the weekend is always going to give you a better chance to focus on home and family matters and on things close to home, the moon will ensure you are also emotionally and intuitively engaged. This first visit since Jupiter retrograde back out last week was always going to be an important chance to check in, especially as the work and life balance tension of recent months has dialed back dramatically from even this time last week. While it is good news that the moon will return to your home and family sector today to find no more planetary activity on the career front, so there won't be any work and life balance tension, it is more important than ever to be aware. With the most powerful full moon in your romantic sector in 18 years just three days away, it is now up to you to police your work and life balance. Our eyes in the sky. The day's powerful influences tell us to slow down. It isn't just a race right now, it's a marathon for you to do and soak in the healing. The Scorpio sun isn't playing. It requires you to make your mental health a top priority. As the Scorpio sun aligns with the south node of destiny, there is an interplay of power and authority that just doesn't seem to let up. Bosses and colleagues could even try some moves on you that leave you shaking your head in disbelief. People in relationships are going to have to find ways to compromise when Venus and Uranus oppose each other. 
You can't take on everything yourself. Giving up your peace for the sake of someone else isn't going to remedy any situation. Sweeping things under the rug never served the greater purpose, but with Venus wanting to break away from the drama and noise, it could be a temptation for many. As you rest your head on your pillow, Mercury and the south node of destiny in Scorpio will blast open your psychic ability and empathic nature. This is a great time to connect with the other side, but it will be important that you set some emotional and energetic boundaries. Another helpful minor connection between Mercury and Chiron can provide some cosmic healing, allowing you to shake off any hurt from the past. This can help you quash any issues that have been weighing you down in the romance department. This energy is also perfect for addressing your financial situation. If you're due for a raise, now might be a good time to request one. The cosmic weather is quiet today until mid-afternoon, when the Aries moon aligns with Chiron, making us agitated. Present situations trigger a reminder of long-buried insecurities, causing us to shadowbox against a phantom enemy. The irony is that this enemy is ourselves. We are the ones who are subtly replaying past events and reinforcing our own trauma. Naturally, it is easier to blame an outside party for our troubles. Yet, the only way to face this foe now is through acceptance and forgiveness. We must stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with our psychic aggressor and integrate it, not denounce it through avoidance or passive-aggressive behavior. Healing can only come through reconciliation. Shortly following this, Venus opposes Uranus in Taurus, stimulating surprise events in love and money. Uranus is the arbiter of change, but Venus in Scorpio prefers to maintain control. Although our relationships tend to be paths toward evolution under Scorpionic placements, we still must wrestle with our fixations, obsessions, and jealousies. We expect others to be loyal to us, and us to them, and so when conflict arises in intimate dynamics, it can come as a shock. Even more so, Venus opposite Uranus presages sudden, unexpected circumstances. An out-of-the-ordinary, mysterious stranger may suddenly enter the scene, throwing our predictable life into upheaval. We may realize we need more out of a current relationship, making requests of our partner that push everyone out of their comfort zone. We may even decide we don't want to be partnered at all, desirous of personal freedom. The best way to handle this transit is to be flexible. This is not necessarily an influence of breakups, although it can be one of testing the limits and toying with the idea of illicit behavior. Infidelity would not be tolerated now and could lead to a breakdown of trust and subsequent parting of ways. On the money front, be mindful that this is an occasion for both windfalls and sudden losses. Don't gamble with anything you can't afford to lose.